this is the second part. Sorry, we have to split it into two. Now, this second part, we're going to talk to you on how you're going to prevent malaria, even if you have mosquitoes around you. So, here is it. Malaria is a very, very serious disease or serious infection that is caused by mosquito. And the interesting thing is you really don't know how to differentiate between the female and the male Anopheles mosquito. Like I said, you because you just see mosquitoes all around, you don't know which one is the female, which one is the male, there is no particular identity. And most of the time the mosquito may have beaten you already before you even recognize or realize that it is actually the female Anopheles mosquito we are talking about. So the best thing is to ensure that you prevent yourself from being beaten by mosquitoes. And if you have malaria, now the malaria's complication is very, very serious, especially in children, because sometimes children come to the hospital unconscious, like they are not responsive. Sometimes they come to the hospital convulsing. Sometimes they come to the hospital with anemia, like their PCV goes very, very low. Sometimes they come to the hospital with kidney injury or kidney failure as a result of still the same malaria we're talking about. Sometimes they even come with bleeding disorders as a result of this same malaria we're talking about. So it is very important that you bring your child to the hospital for treatment. Even if you think it is the so-called common malaria you expect or you assume. Also, in adults, malaria can cause other complications like in elderly people or adults. It can make them confused to the extent that you may even think they are they are having uh, psychological or um, psychiatric issues. I've attended to a lot of people that were confused in the hospital. They were just saying a lot of things and blabbing. And I understood it was because the severity of the malaria was already at its peak in them. So once you have malaria, it's not going to cost you anything to come to the hospital. Like I said earlier on, less than a dollar would do a test of malaria for you and you would have the results promptly. So I advise you, it's better you prevent the complications of malaria than managing yourself at home. And don't forget, if you've initiated treatment at home and the symptoms still persist, please, after 24 hours, if you don't feel better after commencing an anti-malaria medication, please come to the hospital. I didn't say two days now, I said 24 hours one day because it is believed that after initiating treatment, you should feel better. But if you do not feel better, and when I mean you do not feel better, don't forget the symptoms we said earlier on. If you still have poor appetite, or you're still running high-grade fever, that's temperature, or you're still vomiting, or you're still having abdominal pain, or you're still having any of the symptoms we said earlier on, please, come to the hospital so that you can be evaluated for that. So briefly, I'm going to talk to you about how to prevent malaria. Now, prevention of malaria is as simple as A, B, C, D. Like, there was a time I didn't have malaria for three years because I was able to exercise or observe A, B, C, D. And what is A? A is awareness of risk. Now, you can see right behind me here that we have a lot of bush and we have um, water around here. Now, this increases my risk of having malaria because mosquitoes will really, really thrive well in this environment. And once they thrive well in this environment, they can easily come into the building there and deal with me, like bite me and bite and bite and bite. So I'm aware of the risk that I am at risk of having malaria in this environment. Sometimes too, when traveling out of the country, there's something we call the airport uh, malaria. So mosquitoes may have actually traveled with you in your traveling bag and once you just release it, a uh, mosquito may just come out and probably bite you and give you malaria before you even travel to another country. So you have to be aware of the risk that you are at risk of having malaria. Now, the next thing we're talking about is B, which is bite prevention. Mosquito bites, can cause malaria. There are other things that can cause malaria, probably from blood transfusion and other things. We're not talking about those ones. But mosquito bites can cause malaria. So if a mosquito comes in, for instance, to bite you, it increases your risk of having malaria. So you have to prevent mosquito bites. And how do you prevent mosquito bites? Make sure you have nets on your window or sleep under insecticide treated nets. And make sure you have insecticide to kill mosquitoes if you have them around you. Ensure that you shut your doors, especially in the mornings and the evenings, because those are the periods when mosquitoes come in or go out. Also ensure that if you're going to places where mosquitoes could bite, you should have protective uh, 
protective clothing, like clothing that could cover your hands and your feet, especially your feet, because the mosquitoes would prefer to bite on your feet and your arms too. You have to make sure that those places are covered. Also, there are other things you can do, like ensure that you put on, for instance, if you're going to a place where you know mosquitoes can bite you, if your fan is on, it can reduce the risk of mosquitoes biting you. Then you can also use in, um, insect repellents to as creams. You can use apply insect repellents when coming to places like this, so that mosquitoes will not bite you. Like someone like me now, when came, when coming here today, I had to wear socks, so I have socks on my legs and my hands are up here, so I'm not at risk of being bitten by mosquito. The next one we're going to talk about is C, which is check. Now, the check, I said earlier on that if you're traveling from somewhere like America to somewhere in Africa, for instance, you are at risk of being bitten by mosquitoes. Now, the next thing you want to think of is, do I need to take preventive medications so that I don't have malaria? You have to consider this. So if you check and you're able to decide with your practitioner you discuss with your doctor and your doctor will be able to prescribe a particular medication to prevent you from having malaria once you come to um, a mosquito infested area the last part is d which is diagnosis diagnosis is you come to the hospital to check if you have malaria you do a simple blood test and if the plasmodium parasite is found in your blood you can be treated for malaria now don't forget you may not have the symptoms of malaria until your body is overwhelmed with the parasites. But once we check and we find out that you have the parasites in your blood, we can treat you for malaria, which will prevent you from having the symptoms we discussed earlier on. So in conclusion, malaria is a very serious disease and if you have things like this around you, you have the increased risk of having malaria. And I will advise you, keep the grasses around you low and ensure you don't have pockets or buckets of water stagnant water around you because these are the things that can increase your risk of having malaria so once again thank you for joining us today i am dr y i'm very sure you enjoyed today's edition watch out for our next episode and don't forget your health is my priority you want to leave